were there any surprises for you in the speech of Irish Prime Minister this week in plenary? Well, he did say he hadn't worked for the European Union. I believe he did have uh, was some uh, part of some organisation was here when he was young. Uh, so that was rather odd. Um, that, so that, that was odd. Uh, the other thing, of course, is that the Irish have not been helpful to us, us over Brexit. Um, and I think they really ought to think about it because we helped them out when they were in a financial crisis. And they should be working with us, not against us. And that's in the interest of, of Britain and uh, Northern Ireland and the Irish Republic. The European Union have nothing to do with the Irish settlement. This is a matter for the British and the Irish, not the European Union. They can keep their noses out of our affairs. Or do you think that uh, European Commission and the other European bodies play this Irish card to weaken a UK position in negotiations? Absolutely. And they do the same thing with Scotland. It's absolute nonsense. Scotland had a referendum on whether we remain part of the United Kingdom, and we decided to, we were going to be British, as, as we've always thought we would. And, and quite frankly, they have no right to try and stir this up. And Sturgeon's also doing it for the same reasons. They just want their own well, their own idea of, of, of Scottish independence, which people have rejected. But they just can't help themselves. They have to stick their nose in to other people's affairs. It is not our constitutional position to interfere in Brexit. That's for the British Prime Minister. Uh, do you think that still there is a real perspective of a deal? Because to us, the general public, it looks uh, very pessimistic because there are no common grounds and sometimes there is a feeling that Europe ex is exaggerating in its demands, first thing. Second, that Europe is not interested in a good deal with the UK because they are afraid that the others will follow. Precisely. They are terrified that we leave and we, get a, and we have a good deal or it doesn't really matter if we do, we don't. Britain will do well, whatever happens. But the whole idea of Barney's business is simply to nobble the British economy and to nobble British industry. That's what it's all about. <clears throat> the reason Mr. Farage and Digby Jones, former leader of the CBI, came out of the room with Barney looking a bit bewildered was simply because they couldn't believe what the actual mission was. The mission is to destroy Britain. That's what it's about, it's to nobble our economy for the next 30 years because they do not want the fifth largest economy in the world sitting on their doorsteps, running rings, around them, running rings around them, which is what we will do. We are a free enterprise economy. This place is not. This is the old Soviet Union by another name. Where is uh, Irish government? Uh, can you conclude after this plenary speech, are they with you or are they with the EU? Because uh, their opinion is very divided. There are many commentators who consider that they are much more with the EU than with Britain and that can create problems in future. Yes, well, it's time the Irish stop doing that. Their interests lie with Great Britain, they always have, and I assure you that within a few years of Brexit, the Irish will be exiting as well and joining us. Their interests lie with us. Most of their trade goes through Britain, so it would be absolutely foolish of them to, to carry on. All this is historic nonsense, the, the, you know, the stuff about the, the past and the British Empire and all this sort of nonsense. Uh, that's what it's all about, spite over, 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 over that. Um, they think they'd rather have anybody ruling them except the British. Well, they're not going to enjoy being ruled by the European Union, which, will, quite frankly, is running towards authoritarianism. And that's not what the thousands of Irishmen died for over, this, uh, over the centuries, to have a, a free Ireland. Um, and they haven't got that. The minute they get a free Ireland, they hand it all over to the European Union. It's essentially a, a greater German empire, which is what it is.